yeah hello guys uh, welcome back and hope you guys are doing well and hope you are enjoying all of my videos so we'll be continuing with our lesson and in the previous lesson we have gone and created a form uh, a simple form and we also created a grid view so where we added our fields and the data source so what we have created previously is uh, we have created this form and we have also added our data so data source is here are our data and fields so we attach this to our grid view so okay now let's we have some problem with our you know, form design okay so let's go and open the form now and now you can if you try to maximize it right if you try to maximize it there is no option and if you try to drag and adjust the size there is no option for it too so uh, we'll go and uh, enable all of this function first so let's go to our design okay design and first we will set our uh, height and the width mm, width we will set it to column width and also height we will set it to column width same with the grid view we will adjust the height column width and also the height to column height so let's save our some restore it and open it okay now you can see you have option to maximize it okay and you also have an option to drag and drop okay now what we have another problem is the form caption or a form title so we don't have currently so we need to add this caption or a title so let's go to our uh, form design okay so here is a caption we need to fill in the caption is a product product detail okay so save this one and open it okay here we go we have a product detail now let's say when we click on this field okay click any of this field or any of the row here when we click we want to show our item id and the item name here beside the caption so let's just go and do it okay let's go to our product table first and here is a title field title field one and title field two so you just make sure you can only add two title field so title field i will say as item id and item name okay let's save this one and uh, let's go to our form design and we have a title data source which is product table so let's save it and open it okay here we go so whenever we select our any item you can see the item id and the item name is populate over here so this gives us a better design okay now what i would like to say you is when the first we created the field we have added in our help text and also a label okay help text and label okay so let me just add a one more of so i added the item id is help item id the help text i have changed to help item id 
and item name I will change back to help item name okay, so I this is just to show you uh, you don't have to do as I right? uh, this is I just want to show you what, what where to get the field and how this field is shown in the our form so let's go to form and open and uh, open it okay now what we just did is on the item ID when we click it you can see here the field so whatever you set on on this field over here let's say on the active so whatever you set in the help text this will be shown over here the help bar button in the so where whatever you set here it will be set here and for the label let's say label active uh, sctrv active active product so i give a name as label as an active product okay let's save this one uh, you just remember our name is active and label is active product so go to our form design and just open it now you can see the label or the header the column name of the field is changed to active field so you need to know this label is for a table column header or the header field or the header label so this you need to make uh, take a note and a help text so i think hope um, this much for this video guys and hope you enjoyed this one and hope you learn some new things about the form designing so on the next video we will be continuing with our form designing and uh, i think it will take a few i think few more classes to complete our form designing and we will be doing all of the basic stuff and uh, also some of the uh, template design on the form uh, and thanks guys uh, thanks for watching